All right, so in this video, I'd like to show what are the prerequisites for uh, running a Ferro uh, Swift card. I have a scan plan device over here, so we'll just turn it on. And this is now booting up. So I'll place it on the actual cart holder over here. And in the meantime, what I have to verify is that I can turn on my wireless settings and search for a network. So the scanner operates obviously in two modes, can work in creating its own uh, hotspot or connect to a network. We need to make sure that it's the, the, the mode is switched to WLAN. That way we can go ahead and actually search for available networks. So the networks that are in the vicinity of the scanner will be shown over here. The scan plan device, which I turned on and put on the bracket below, shows as one of the available networks. It's SP0, that's your serial number over here. So it's already highlighted. So now the next thing that you always have to input is the encryption key. That's just a password to the scan plans network, which is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 the OK button. And if this is successfully working and you hit the on button on the actual Wi-Fi interface, it should uh, tell you over here that it's connected and you should be able to see the IP address which is shown here. So 192.168.100.121. So that's the scanners, this, this guy that's sitting on the tripod, the scanners uh, IP address that we will be accessing it um, using our phone or a laptop through. So this is one of the prerequisites. The scanner is already connected to the scan plan network. And the next thing is if you don't already have it, and this is where you have to have the latest firmware for it, but if you slide this little button to the right, uh, if you don't have uh, the Swift uh, functionality enabled, it'll ask you for a key, but the uh, the unit over here is enabled, so I have the scan uh, mode uh, set to Swift, and we can actually see on the camera over here, we can see that uh, there are two devices that are visible. So there's a battery life on the scan plan, and then there's a battery life on the actual um, scanner itself. So uh, that's it. Now that this is done, I can go ahead and actually look for uh, the same network on my computer or on my phone and I'll follow the video um, there.